you know, it's become a regular racetrack. I don't even let my daughters play outside or even go in the front yard anymore. Eyes and ears must be on high alert. Most of the time I'd say people are going at least 50, maybe even 60. You know, if you see somebody coming a little too fast, you just wait and let them go on by. That's the level of caution you need when driving down Hamilton Street. According to the people who live there, a little unusual for a road with 25 and 35 mile per hour speed limits. 40 miles per hour. And they're supposed to be going 25 miles per hour by the time they hit uh, this next block. Nobody here wants to see anybody get hurt. It's a nice, quiet little neighborhood. But Judy Rodden believes something tragic could happen. We're just all sitting here waiting for it. If the speeding issue isn't handled. We looked at the whole Hamilton Street corridor from Montlou to Lexington, but specifically at the East Ferris intersection several years ago. Now it's back to the drawing board. Mark McDonald, High Point Transportation Director, says they're working with High Point Police to reassess the area. Law enforcement conducted a traffic study last month. It gives us some, some idea uh, about the volume of traffic that's going through there and what type of speeds they are, are running through there. Community members hope this information leads city leaders to quick solutions. Four-way stop, that would help out a lot. Or set up some sort of regularly irregular um, police officers having a place that they can sit.